update. I wanted to come on here and reply to a few things and give a little update. I had no idea the last post was going to blow up so quickly and get so many comments. For this reason, I didn't go into too many details in my last post, so here they are. When I read his comments on those websites, it felt dehumanizing and fetishizing. They were making stereotypes about us that are either untrue or outdated. We have all kinds of women here, just like in other countries. Some like to party, some don't. Some are looking for flings, some want long-term relationships, and some want to stay single and childless forever. It's not true that most of us are submissive women who obey our husbands. Try telling that to a Central European woman face-to-face -face and see her reaction. He told me he only came for work. And it's funny we met because he wasn't planning on getting into a relationship. Judging by his comments online, it was a lie and he came here to look for a traditional wife. Surprisingly, he never actually told me that he wanted a traditional relationship. He doesn't do anything that's considered traditional in my culture either. I work hard for my own money and go to university, so I don't want to be a housewife or stay-at-home mum in the near future. We've talked about this so he knows. What worries me is that someone online told him to start a relationship and then try to make it more traditional over time. I don't know if that's what he's trying to do or if he's changed his mind. I have no way of knowing and don't want to take the risk of wasting my time. He works at an ed company, allegedly. I've never been to his workplace, so I have no proof of this. It might be my naivety to think it's true, but we have a lot of companies like this in my country and a lot of foreigners work in it in the capital city, so who knows? Traditional woman and traditional relationship can mean different things in different countries depending on culture and social norms. He wants a traditional woman by American standards, but that's not the same as what we consider a traditional woman here. It's pretty clear from his online comments that he has no clue about this difference. It's offensive because it shows he knows nothing about our culture and history and is just relying on stereotypes and outdated assumptions. Some people in the comments try to justify his desire for a traditional wife stating that European women should be happy and understanding about this. But what does he bring to the table? Why should a traditional Central European woman choose him instead of a man from our country who speaks our language, knows our customs and traditions, grew up in our culture and respects us according to our standards? To imply that I should be grateful that an American man chose me like I'm some product is offensive and makes me look like I'm inferior. Very weird logic. Some people commented that my post was rage bait or fake because of my English or because Central European women won't think like this. This just proves the ignorance some people have about my country. Women here have careers, open their own businesses or learn to become doctors, lawyers, beauticians, chefs, etc. Most of us in the younger generations have modern mentalities except for some villages, but villages probably won't go for an American man who doesn't know a thing about our country. Most of us learn a second language. Since we are six, eight years old, my niece literally goes to a bilingual kindergarten and learns two languages at the age of three. So I'm not sure why it's so far-fetched that people here speak English well. We are not some idiots who have no idea about the modern world. Most of us speak at least one or two foreign languages, usually English and German, sometimes Spanish, except the boomers and Gen X. They had to learn Russian back in the day. I also use an app to double check my grammar. P guilty as charged. And to the person who said that Central European countries are basically the same as England or France. It sounds like someone failed their history class. Please don't be ignorant and educate yourself. We told my boyfriend A now that I'd like to break up with him. We had a small conversation on the phone and I told him I wasn't in a position to continue the relationship for personal reasons. At first he was confused and tried to convince me not to break up, but then he accepted it. The comments that suggested it, thank you for the idea. I posted my story in the local group so other women can be aware of this whole passport bro thing and hopefully not fall victim to men like this. It was expected they found the whole thing disgusting and we're grateful for the heads up. We are not here for others' enjoyment and to fulfill some submissive wife fantasy of someone who looks at us as stereotypes rather than individuals with varying personalities and preferences. I'm not against foreigners or mixed couples. My brother-in-law is Arab, speaks my language and knows my culture. We also speak some Arabic and know and respect his culture too. He didn't come here as a sex tourist, but as an actual worker who wanted to change his life 
if you go to a country, go because you're interested in it and wanna learn about a new culture or have some great opportunities, not because you wanna desperately lie to women just so you can get into a relationship or get some sex. I can't speak for everyone in my country, but most people won't tolerate this behavior and will judge passport bros negatively. It's hypocritical to want a traditional wife but constantly move from country to country and woman to woman. And that behavior definitely isn't considered traditional, at least not in my country here. If you want casual relationships, that's fine because there are women here who want the same, but just be honest about it. Thank you again for all the comments, explanations and advice. They were eye-opening and really helpful. Even though I'm disappointed and feel a bit used, I'm grateful that I know the whole truth now. We live and we learn, I guess, 